Hello friends, welcome to Java EE JSP tutorial. So now in this uh, sub part, we are going to see how to configure SQL Server with uh, Wildfly as well as uh, Eclipse so that you can connect to the database in your JSP application. So in this video, we are going to see how to add an admin user to the Wildfly console so that you can log into the administration console of Wildfly and do configuration. This step is required because to configure a SQL server, we need to get inside the Wildfly and then we can configure the SQL server JDBC related settings. So going through the SQL server admin console is easy compared to um, typing everything in the XML configuration file. So the Wildfly server admin console is a web application and that web application will ship with your wildfly installation itself so as part of the prerequisite we talked about how to set up the wildfly server and link that to the eclipse so wildfly server is a, an application that run as a web server so in Eclipse, we actually have a plugin and that plugin will go and contact this installed version of Wildfly server and using that plugin inside the Eclipse, you will perform a Wildfly server related activities like deploying the application, starting and stopping the Wildfly server. All those stuffs are done through the plugin. But here, uh, this is actually a web application so you can access this web application using so if a port is not changed the default is 8080 by typing this in web browser address bar you can access the web application all right so once you access this web application inside you will see a link called admin console but when you click this link it will ask for username and password so that means we should have a admin user or super user uh, that needs to be created so the admin user will be there already but uh, it's time to change the uh, or reconfigure the admin user so that you can provide a new username and password so for that what you have to do you have to um, make use of add user command so this will be available in the bin directory of our our wildfly installation so run the command press command prompt as administrator then use the add user there we can add the admin user provide a password and we will be adding this admin user as a super user so once this is done, you can log into the admin console using this admin user. Then we can do uh, configuration and we can do the application deployment. So all those management activity we can do. So that's what we are going to see in this uh, first part. Now you have a basic idea of uh, uh, what this uh, admin console is. Since we want to set up the uh, SQL server data source name DSN we need to access the admin console Wildfly admin console and we know that it's a web application and this web application can be launched using this URL and this port number is important if uh, I haven't configured the port number the default will be 8080 otherwise you have to remember the port number whatever is configured for the Wildfly then so this is a separate part and uh, the initial home page will get launched anyhow but once you click administration console um, 
you end up with supplying the username and password so that's where we come to the command prompt and we will make use of this add user command and using this command we will ask add the admin user with a role super user okay now it's a demo time we will add the user so here you see app server world fly final and under the bin directory you can see there is a command called add user this is what we are going to use but before that we will see first we will start while fly note so usually in the previous uh, videos we started the while fly server from uh, eclipse plugin so if you are running the eclipse you have to close the eclipse uh, don't forget to stop the server before closing the eclipse once the uh, web server is stopped through the eclipse plugin if it is already in the running state you can come here go to the directory where we installed the world fly then you can start the world fly from the command prompt using the from command prompt using the command standalone So whatever you saw previously in the uh, console window of your uh, Eclipse, the same stuff you are seeing here, uh, Wildfly server is started. Now you can take any browser of your choice, then type HTTP localhost 8080. So I'm hitting enter and this is what the Wildfly homepage is. And here I am clicking the administration console. So the moment I click, it is asking for the username and password. So at present, I don't know what is the password for admin. Let me give you ABC123, but it won't accept it. So now we will stop the Wildfly server. I just uh, pressed control C. Then I am choosing yes here. So you can use this add user command to add any number of user you want. For now, we will add the admin user. So if you see here, what type of user do you wish to add? So there are two kind of user you can add. One is the management user and another one is the application user here since we are going to configure the dsn settings i am going for the management user the default option is a but still i am typing a and hitting enter then it is asking to enter the username username i am giving it as admin so it may say that admin already exists but so it said admin already exists so i'm choosing the default a so update the existing user password and roles so i don't know the password so i am going with the option a and it's asking to enter the password so i'm giving same as a password that means admin username is admin password is admin it may complain stating that uh, password is so here we are not respecting it it's okay i'm just giving admin anyhow it's demo purpose so the password should be different from the username are you sure you want to use the so i'll go with yes i'm sure i know what i'm doing i am using the same here has password username is admin password is also admin that's what i'm doing so it's asking to re-enter the password. I'm typing admin again. And then we will go with this super user. Super user have the 
it's the powerful user you can do whatever you want so that's the role i want so i'm choosing a super user and hitting enter for now let us go with yes here so press any key to continue so like this you can add multiple user for now i added just admin not even added i just changed the password it told the user already exist all right now let me go to edge local host 8080 administration console okay doesn't work why because we haven't yet started the server so after adding the user i am starting the server again okay started now we will go for edge I am choosing admin console then typing username as admin password as admin so this is the admin console and you can see the admin role is super user and you can log out and if you want to run admin as multiple with a different role you can go for a run as and here using this link you can see what are all the deployment you can make and there are a configuration using this a configuration we can uh, do so here itself it is saying we can do data source configuration there are a lot of other stuff we can do all right so jmsq all those stuff we will learn later for now this is how you can launch the admin console That's all here in this video. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.